Hey guys, KFAR back again once again. So in today's video, we're going to cover a channel called The Terry Stop. He seems to support SGV, for auditors, writes Crispy. His name's The Terry Stop, so I can only assume he's got a hard-on for Chili. Now, he's got six years worth of content on his page. Uh, we're going to trim it down to about four years. He's been arrested in his front yard once or twice. The disturbance that was at his house seems to involve some sort of absolutely belligerently obliterated female who's just slurring her words. I might cover that on a different day. Uh, in four years, he's been pulled over seven or eight times. In this video, it's going to be his plate comes back to a different vehicle. In another video, the tags come back to a completely different person. In another video, he hands them a ID card, not a driver's license, and they have to run it to get his driver's license. He doesn't answer questions. He just eats the tickets again. Seven or eight times in four years is kind of a lot seeing as how I haven't been pulled over in like five or six years. We're going to jump into this. You might get mad at the video. I'm going to fast forward it a little bit. He does get ticketed, but he just says some of the dumbest shit I've ever heard. So enjoy the video. Hello, sir. So I pulled you over because the plate matches to a Jeep. You know where you got the plates? I don't answer questions. What's that? I don't answer questions. Okay. You have proof of insurance? I don't answer questions. Okay, insurance doesn't come up on this. So no proof of insurance? Okay. So you notice he doesn't, uh, he, he's not a big fan of answering questions. The plate comes back to a Jeep. I believe it was in one of his, I get arrested on my front lawn videos. There was an older Jeep Grand Cherokee in the driveway. I'm going to assume that's where he gets the plate from. But that's not how plating cars works. You can't just say, I'm going to take this one and put it on this one because reasons. I, uh, the plates on this truck, uh, don't go to this truck, he says. Yeah. Yeah. I could sit and try to explain to him, right, that we just got the truck and, uh, that we haven't had a chance to get tags yet, so we just moved the tags from the Jeep over to the truck that they belong to my wife. You know what I mean? I, I could tell them all that, but... So I don't know why he's causing such a big stink. Oh, the officer said it was to a different car. But then you go on to explain how indeed it is to a different car and how, oh, we didn't get, we didn't get a chance to get it tagged yet, so we just moved them over from a different vehicle. It's actually my wife's vehicle. None of that matters. It's for a different vehicle. Uh-oh. Looks like we're going to have two of them. We're going to have two of them pull up. Officer safety. Yeah, when they pull my name up, there's a bunch of uh, red uh, warnings. Let's just hope. So, uh, interestingly, I was supposed to actually go to court today on something similar to this. But there was no court date available seems crazy and because i've been watching i even signed up for the mo vans and everything so they just switched the judge so i haven't even had a chance to go find out anything but i know first chance i get i plan on doing that uh, what's going on brother so now it seems like they're extending the stop unnecessarily okay we all really know i just want to touch on that last five seconds where he just said some dumb shit Going through his page, I guess he used to be big into drugs. And they've asked to search his vehicle for drugs on several occasions and brought up that he used to be on drugs. But um, switching a judge, it's a common thing that happens, especially if you've been through the system enough times. This guy's got eight stops, seven stops in four years. So yeah, they're probably very familiar with him. But the last bit, the last bit. Oh, they're trying to extend my stop unnecessarily. No, no, no. You're trying to extend your stop unnecessarily. They said, hey, do you have these documents, this document, this document that you're required to have and required to give me at a traffic stop? And his response was, so you're the one who is unnecessarily extending the stop, not the police officers. And they're bringing that second police officer as backup because you're being an asshole. How long have we been on here now? I can't even see it. Can anybody tell me how long we've been on this, on this live stream? Right at five minutes. All right, well, there's two officers. Oh, listen, that's long enough to fucking make a report. Write a report. Maybe they got slow printers. 
they're trying to decide how far they can escalate it. They're going to try to take the tags. A few moments later. Pull me over if you don't know. They said it was because, uh... What they say it was? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. The license plate. It's always the license plate. It's crazy. It's not stolen, though. Ain't no crime. You know what I mean? It's not reported stolen. The tags ain't reported stolen. Maybe. Maybe. There's some shit going on that the government don't know about. You ever think about that? It is okay. It's okay. We're just regular American citizens going about our day-to-day -day lives, trying to be productive members of our society. So let me get this straight. The average everyday productive citizen uses a plate not for that vehicle and doesn't have insurance. I find that hard to believe. But the government must interfere every opportunity it can into your day-to-day -day life to make sure that you All right, Mr. know Rupert, they're there. Here's your license back for you. Here's your citation. Failure to provide proof of insurance and failure to have the wrong plates on your car, okay? Right. Um, your court date, if you have any questions, your court date's up here. If you have any questions, you can call, reschedule it, call uh, city court and get taken care of. All right? Have a good day, sir. You too. And that's the, that's that, that's the end of that. So, I guess we'll get back out here. Tickets on our way. See? I was going to get the tickets either way, right? I was going to get the tickets either way. So, so, but this way, I didn't say some shit that would have got me in the trouble. So this is one of those videos that I show to kind of show, I wouldn't say a bad officer, but officers like this is why the frauditor movement, the sovereign citizen movement, the Moorish American movement, they're all catching the small amount of steam that they are is because in this situation, in my humble opinion, yeah, the officer should have snatched that plate off with a fucking quickness. Said, okay, cool. Go get your car registered. Have a good rest of your day. Bye. Uh, the insurance, if he has insurance, he can literally go to court and be like, yeah, I just didn't have my card with me. It was good for this day. I was covered. And that, again, that ticket would disappear. But it seems to be a thing where he always seems to leave all of his shit at home. I might dig further into this guy. A couple of his videos are just absolute nonsense. He gets pulled over in one video, and it looks like his shit box has the then in the front windshield apparently the last two numbers look to be altered uh, again he pulls his license out and turns out oh not a license it's just an id card and then they have to look it up through the id card and he has a license his registration always seems to be at home his uh, insurance always seems to be oh not here at home non-existent and then he doesn't answer questions <sighs> i wish officers would just if you just go hard on these people a few times they will change but unfortunately, they take it easy on him, and he's been pulled over eight times for the same shit, or seven times for the same shit. So, it is what it is. If you guys want to go over to his page and look at some of his videos, do that. But do not go and harass him. Uh, he looks like he's already having a strugglish time, as is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I know it kind of made me a little angry, but it is what it is. Have a good rest of your day. Peace.